you look at these numbers, they seem to be lining up fairly well for uh, Joe Biden if he decides to run for re-election in 24. Well, uh, this, the inflation uh, and some of these, the, the recessionary problems get washed out in 23, and by 24, it looks like we're moving to where we were in 1984. Oh, my gosh. Our next guest says this comparison is laughable. As, remember, what Reagan was doing in the early 80s runs counter to every liberal policy prescription being presented. Here now is Kevin Hassett, former chair of the Council of Economic Advisors under Trump and Hoover Institution fellow. Kevin, explain for our viewers why comparing Biden to Reagan is uh, you know, for absurd. That The word isn't absurd. It's farcical. Yeah, it's, it's an absolute joke. The, the bottom line is that Reagan came in with lots of inflation, just like Biden. But what he did, or, you know, Biden kicked it off with his spending. But what Reagan did when inflation kicked off is he had a supply side tax cut so that there was more supply. And he cut government spending. He cut non-discretionary spending by 23 percent. And what Biden's done is he's hiked taxes and he's increased government spending. So he's feeding demand while he's killing supply. And that's going to make inflation worse and worse. And so you know that even liberal economists are saying that inflation isn't going to get better anytime soon. And so the Morning Joe guys just, you know, they're not really passing an economics class right now. Yeah. Well, Biden's deputy Treasury secretary says everything's pretty much peachy. Watch. We feel good about the strength of the U.S. economy. We still see a great deal of momentum in the economy in terms of consumer demand is still strong. Uh, over the course of the last few weeks, I've had a chance to sit down with CEOs who tell me that from their perspective, they're still getting orders from consumers, from other businesses. They feel good about their order books. Uh, Kevin, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen him before. What, what, what are you hearing from business leaders? Well, you know, business leaders are afraid that there's a recession coming. And, you know, we just got retail sales data that said that retail sales tanked in November. And it's true that in the second half of the year, we're not going to have a negative half like we did the first half. We definitely had a recession in the first half of the year. Uh, but the reason is that consumers have been borrowing on their credit cards like crazy. Credit card debt's up 15 percent relative to last year. And there's no way they're going to be able to borrow again next year because, first of all, with interest rates going up, they're going to have to pay more for their credit card debt. But second of all, they're all hitting their limits. And so consumption has got to hit a wall as we go into next year, which is why all the Wall Street economists are saying that we're going to have a recession. And, and so I really don't know where he's coming from. And, you know, Secretary Yellen also had a piece of the Wall Street Journal where she's bragging about the economy. And I think that that piece will come back to haunt her pretty soon, sadly. And, Kevin, uh, you and I talked about this on my podcast, but I want to I expand on this because your point about what Republicans, especially in any sane Democrats left who want to save this country's economy, what they should be doing rather than this omnibus bill, as hard as it would be PR-wise in the short term. Explain that for the viewers. So what the Republicans need to do is they need to have a, a you know, real, real hard look at shutting down the government, and cutting spending enormously the way Ronald Reagan did. You know, the House has the power of the purse. And people are going to say when they do that, hey, you, you know, you can't really uh, threaten, you know, the debt of the U.S. With, with the shutdown. Oh, that's so scary. It's so irresponsible. Well, how irresponsible is it that we now owe a whole year's GDP, you know, mostly to the Chinese and other foreign investors because of these reckless policies? And under the CBO forecast, it goes to two GDPs, two years of GDP oh relatively gosh. quickly. And so I think it's irresponsible to spend the way they're doing. And it would be irresponsible for Republicans to play along with them. All right. Kevin, uh, this is sobering. And thank you so much for sharing these thoughts. And uh, people better be paying Thanks, attention, Mark. especially the GOP. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.